Yo, 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 it's your boy Trinity back with another video. Sorry, it's been like a week or whatever. I've just been like sick, which is fantastic. I love being sick. It's the best thing in the world. But today we are back playing Undertale. And so we just beat Undyne. And before we go to there, I'm going to save real quick. Things that are strange, the war tree, blah, blah, blah. We are going to go back with Undyne. Tra la la, I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Yep. Where will we go today? Let's go to Waterfall. Then we're off. So, yeah, we're going to go back to Undyne. Sorry if I sound horrible, I'm sick. Tra la la, the waters are wild today. That's bad luck. Yeah, bad luck. I'm sick. Oh my god. But yeah, sorry if I like sneeze or like sniffle or whatever. I just needed to record a video. Have didn't have anything pre-recorded. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Didn't have anything pre-recorded and stuff. So let's go. To Undyne's house. Oh ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a place to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Okay, stand behind me. Make sure to give her this. She loves me. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've. Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> I love that. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate to humiliate me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not why would I ever be friends with you? If you were my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought I thought you could be friends with you, but I guess. I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? Boo hoo hoo, what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Actually, let's explore a little bit. I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. One time, Alphys, uh, friend... Alphys, oh, Alphys' uh, friend came over here. All he did was like to actively play on the piano and fed himself great. I don't really like that guy, Cop Cop Metaton, but I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, make some nerds. Cop Cop Alphys. And this thing is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Looking inside the bone drawer? Whoa! This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware door. It has pork, food, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks, just your normal kitchen stuff. I hate cold food. The office has fixed me up a brick so it's up food instead. Hot bread, the world's greatest invention. 
human stuff, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Histor historically, humans wield up swords. Oh, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? Let's just let's just go with it. Let's go with it. Heh, I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. The main office built a giant sword together. You figured out all the specs herself. Be smart, huh? Let's progress. Sit down and rest? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. You got sugar, beef. Uh, I think that's soda, and then... Oh wait, no, I messed it all up. Okay. What would you like? Hey, don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use a spear. Sugar goes in tea. Soda, thickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Or tea box. Completely correct choice. See, I got them all wrong. I thought this was the sugar, this the tea, this, I got that right, and then I'm like, oh, what is this? Tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I actually don't like tea in real life. I tried it once, like, last year. Didn't really, I would like sweet tea. I don't know if there's any other teas that I might like, but, uh, the one time I just didn't really like it. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. We're waiting for the water to boil. There we go. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Hey, that's pretty good! You guys know that reference? You're amazing. Nothing but the best of my absolutely precious friend! Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asbor's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hothead kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I have never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook. You know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson? He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Let's go. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus to my closer than cooking. Which means that if I get to his lesson, we'll become closer than we could ever imagine. Boo hoo hoo. Afraid we're going to be best friends. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, how would you dust with your fist? How would you count? Draw urban. Let's move. 
vegetable. You put vegetables at full force. You knock over tomato. Yeah, yeah. Our pizza, I'm I can't read. Against these F <laughs> I'm sorry, I get these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we have the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. I'll eat the food and fiercely your fear. Throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clinks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Okay. Let's stir. Stir harder. I can't go any faster. Do so hard. Harder. Harder. Oh my God, my hand. Uh, let me do it. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let's no, 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 like your passion. Let your hopey dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. There we go. Fire, okay. Wow, honor. So there's that that's the fire right there. Honor! Hot target! That's honor! Wait, that's too. And we burned her house down. Ah, man, no one ever requires sex at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelet? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I didn't feel to be friendly. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One time I'll be at you. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost time. Now come on, hit me with all you thought. Yeah! And then it let me make the person happy. The person that's swinging and then all your mind. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... <laughs> I can't, I can't read. But, the way you hit me right now, it reminds me of someone I used to train with. Now I know, you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human, it seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will float down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Hoo hoo hoo. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Hoo hoo hoo. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Pyrus. So if you do need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Pyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you too. Well, see you later, punk. Well, we successfully burned Undyne's house down. Back to Hotland. Wait. Oh no. I just want to see something. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. We gotta go this way. To the river person. Fa la la, care for a ride? Riding the boat? Yep. Where will we go today? Hotland. Then we're off. It's Doge! Or a cat. I don't know. I can't. I'm blind. Tra la la. Timmy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. 
and we visited Timmy Village in the last video. If you didn't see it, probably go check it out. It was pretty lit. We found Timmy Village and feed and dine. Come again sometime, tra -la -la. Now, we'll get to meet someone. Let's save. Let's go. Hey, look, it's us. I wonder who it could be. Oh my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um... Uh, uh, hey! I'm Dr. Alf Asgore's royal assistant. Sidon. But, 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 uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fight, your friendship, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, I, now when I want to help you, using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the hotline. I know a way right to Asgore's castle. No problem. Well, actually, um, there was just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to say, to be an, an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a ro robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical defense. Like, um, anti-anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided. I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teasy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with his thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. I wonder who it could be. Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh yes! <laughs> Welcome beauties! To today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestants! Never played before, gorgeous? No, no, <laughs> no problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly, or you die. Metaton attack. Metaton attack. Very defense. Two hundred fifty five. Metal body. Remember, two him and water mold to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the price range? Answer correctly. So if you can see, I'm gonna put my mouse over here. Alphys is like showing you the answer. More D, more fun. Right, sounds like you got it. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? The Asgore. Correct, what a terrific answer. Enough about you, let's talk about me. Oh, oops. What a robot made of. B, metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train like A, train B, coming to the of the station A, station A, station A, and station B are two. I can't, I can't read this. This, this, yeah, math. I love math, huh? Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in the star? A. Correct, you're so lucky today. Let's play memory game. Who? What monster is this? And they look like Froggit, but... No. I'm so flattered you remembered. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? <laughs> Let's go. Heck yeah. Great answer, I love it. Here's a simple one. 
Probably losing the Metaton. Of course that was easy for you. Time to break out the big guns. And the day they that I'm using is shooting. What is it? Oh, oh, I know this. It's snail ice cream. It's a fourth chapter. Everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who likes it. It is my favorite part of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. You aren't helping our contestants, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. Don't be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alpha have a crush on? Let's see. Hmm, it's Undyne. The outfit, I told you, is obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrolled her name in the margins of her nose. She names program variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probably, probably impressed 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alpha's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go- we can't go on like this, but- but, this was just a pilot episode, next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darling. Bye, Metaton. Well, that was certainly something. Let's move on. Bye, Alphys. Actually, I was gonna explore the lab. Wait, wait! Let me give you my phone number. Then maybe if if you need help, I could. What? Well, where did you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Well, wait a second, please. That's not promising. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up with Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Hee hee hee. Ha, ha. I'm going to the bathroom. Let's go spoil out. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. Pink is from this strange machine. Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. The wardrobe is fully of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. You'll find out that. You'll find about that later. Tee hee hee. An incredible invention. When not in use, it's been folded into an extremely easy to draw box. It's a promo poster for Metatron's TV premiere. On the flop it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Okay, let's move on. Actually, let's, um, it's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle, let's note it. Let's grab some instant noodles. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles. You got the instant noodles. Naturally, we can, um, sell dimensional block A. We can put some, we can put our instant noodles in there, because we don't need them yet. And then there we go. Let's move on and explore Hotland a little. Alpha, very sad. I just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Whoop whoop, let's go. Oh. Vulcan stole them. I think it's encouraged. You told Vulcan it's doing a great job, it's attack become extreme. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's my best. Oh god. Oh god, no! <laughs> there we go. Gonna call them in a minute. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Well, guys, I'm going to have to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry. It's been a little bit. That's why I'm uploading this on a Monday instead of, like, a Tuesday. I don't know. My schedule is, like, all weird and stuff. But make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I upload videos. But I want to try to upload more because, like, why not? So you guys can, like, 
yeah, okay. But like, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, all that jazz. And yeah, bye!